Hey everyone, so there was uh, some big news the other day on October 7th commemorating the one year anniversary since the attacks, the horrible attacks last year. Uh, President Trump decided to commemorate the day by visiting a very holy site in the United States, the resting place of the Lubavitcher Rebbe in Queens, New York. And the idea of praying by the graveside of a righteous person is something embedded in Jewish tradition. In fact, in our tradition, uh, when the spies were sent to the land of Israel, the uh, one of the spies, Caleb, uh, got a sense that, that the other spies were going to bring back a bad report. Caleb, who was one of the spies that went in, he prayed by the uh, graveside of the patriarchs, by the by the Marat HaMachpela, the, the cave of Machpela, which is in Hebron to this very day, which is the burial site of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And going to a holy place like that is like a portal. Uh, it's a portal into the heavens. If, uh, if ordinarily everybody has a direct connection with God, which is true, anywhere a person is, we have a direct connection. But sometimes based on our actions and other things, uh, that pipeline can get a little bit clogged. Well, going to a holy place is something that uh, is, is an area where the pipeline uh, has no clog. It's uh, got WD-40, uh, per perfectly cleared out pipeline directly to God without any obstruction. And so the idea of going to a graveside in general is something that is quite spiritual in, in Jewish tradition. It, it gives us a sense of our own mortality. It gives us a sense of the non-permanence of this world. And so uh, praying at the graveside of a righteous person draws down that inspiration. And we hope that uh, in merit of the person that is buried there, that our prayers will be heard in an even, uh, in an even clearer way than ordinarily. So I want to play for you this clip of President Trump visiting the Ohel, the, the resting place of the Lubavitcher Rebbe, and we can talk a little bit about what's going on and the significance of this uh, as the video continues. Check this out. So what, what uh, President Trump is doing right there is there there is a tradition to write down your prayers that, that things that you are that you are hoping for that you hope that the merits of the righteous person and the merits of the Rebbe uh, will help facilitate your prayers on high and so the president is reading his prayer requests and he and he uh, then he he tore them up and placed them inside the actual. Uh, grave area, and you'll see President Trump here. Uh, he's putting a stone onto the onto the gravestone, uh, which is a which is a universal tradition in Jewish um, in 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 the, in the Jewish in, in in Jewish practice. The the reason for it is uh, you know in some cultures people will put flowers uh, in order to show like in order to beautify the grave. Um, one of the reasons that Jews do not put flowers is because flowers may look beautiful today, but three days later, the flowers have changed. The flowers have died. And it's a symbol of, of not eternal life. It's a symbol of, of temporariness, uh, whereas a stone represents permanence. So placing a stone on the grave represents that, that personal connection that we always have with the person which we're coming to visit. So it's a very, so it's a very special and meaningful moment having the former president come to visit the resting place of the Lubavitcher Rebbe on such a, on such a solemn day. Uh, pre the former president is not the only uh, world leader that has visited the Ohel. In fact, in just the past few weeks, uh, several presidents, uh, the president of Argentina, Javier Millet, was here uh, a little bit uh, a little bit before that, I believe. The president of Albania was also uh, there to visit. It's, it is a place of inspiration. It is a place of connection with something higher. And it's a place that has always been welcoming to everybody. Uh, no matter what your faith background is, no matter what your religious tradition is, everyone is welcome there to, to use that as a, as a place to be inspired, as a place to uh, deepen one's connection with, with faith, with God, and to, to live a better, better life. So uh, kudos to former President Trump 
for making a point that prayer is something that is valuable, that's something that the American public uh, should embrace. And um, may, may all of the good requests that, that everybody asks for in this place uh, come true in the fullest and most beautiful possible ways.